Misdeeds by a disgraced Arkansas judge coming to light as a family that lost a loved one in central Arkansas plans to sue. Good evening. I'm Ashley Katz. Bob has the evening off. A family whose jury awarded settlement was cut by Judge Mike Maggio is planning to go back to court. It all began when an Arkansas report called Blue Hog Report revealed former Judge Mike Maggio was the person behind posts that were revealing confidential adoption information by actress Charlize Theron. All those allegations also from a campaign donation by state nursing home interest that were in exchange for a reduced jury verdict in a negligence case. After a judicial investigation, Maggio was stripped of his judgeship by the Judicial Discipline and Discipline. Disability Commission. Now that we have some background, KARK's Josh Berry joins us now with more on this negligence case. What's the latest, Josh? Well, Ashley, the attorney for the family filed a lawsuit today naming three defendants, including Maggio. They outlined the previous wrongful death suit and the decisions made by Maggio that corresponded with political donations by the defendant in that case, who's also a defendant now in this case. And the family says they want the money that they're owed. Former Circuit Judge Mike Maggio of Conway can't get away from the headlines centered around a wrongful death case he made a ruling on in 2013. A lawsuit filed Monday in Faulkner County filed by the attorney for the family of Martha Bull, who died in a Greenbrier nursing home, claims Maggio received campaign contributions that influenced his decision in the case. To most of us, it didn't seem right, but, you know, we're just a, a family that tries to take care of ourselves. We spoke to the family earlier this year when they first learned of the claims. Their lawsuit Monday names Maggio Mike Morton, the defendant and owner of the nursing home in the previous case, along with Gilbert Baker, who allegedly acted as an agent for Maggio. After the 2013 trial, a jury had awarded Bull's estate $5.2 million, but Morton appealed the amount and Maggio later lowered it to $1 million. The lawsuit points out that Morton, on the day of that ruling, donated $21 $1,000 to different political action committees, all believed to be funneled to Maggio's campaign for appellate judge. The family claims Morton intended to reduce the jury verdict and have asked for punitive damages as a result of judicial corruption and having been denied their constitutional rights. Now, Maggio's attorney says her client has not been served the lawsuit and had no comment on anything the lawsuit claimed. Our calls to the other defendants have not been returned, but we'll stay on top of this and bring everyone the latest. Ashley, back to you. One law.